Property Brothers is here in District 16 and this is Urban Vista. We're bringing you up to a compact 3 bedder unit standing at 786 square feet, asking price right below the $1.2 million mark. We are also just within walking distance 2 minutes away to the Tanamara MRT station with lots of rejuvenation in this entire vicinity. Come join us for this home tour, let's go! We are in our compact 3 bather unit in Urban Vista and Urban Vista is actually a 99 year leasehold development. TOP was in 2016 so it's actually one of the youngest developments right here in Tanamera vicinity. There are a total of 582 units right here and 3 commercial units just downstairs near to the side gate. Project has a good mixture of 1 to 5 bather units right here. Essentially the project is made up of mostly 1 to 2 bather units and that takes up 66% already. And for 3 bather units which is what we have here today that takes up 27% of it. So before I bring you around the home itself, we're just going to share more a little bit on the location. So as we come into the balcony, you can see right over there, that's actually the Tanamera MRT station where you can transfer to Expo and Changi Airport. So Urban Visa is actually right along New Upper Changi Road. Coming home itself, you're actually turning into Tanamera Kuchu Link which is a really quiet and private street because it's meant for the residents in Urban Vista as well as Optima. In fact, we're right in the middle of a lot of popular spots in Singapore. We are close by to East Coast Park, which is where Bayshore area is. We're also close by to the Changi Business Park, which is where Expo MRT Station is. Right behind us is actually the Bedok area where we've got Bedok Mall, Bedok Interchange Hawker Centre area. In terms of primary school, within one kilometre, we have St. Anthony's Kenosian Primary School, Tamasic Primary School and also Bedok Green Primary School. So if you are family looking to move into the east side, this is actually a pretty good location because you're not just close to the Changi Business District, you have also three good primary schools to choose from. Let's head into the living room itself. So coming in here, we've got our sofa on the left and of course the TV console on the right. If you would like more storage space, you can of course build in the TV console with storage on top and at the bottom. So as we see over here, they have catered for a two-seater kind of sofa. You can definitely increase the size of this sofa. Your dining set can actually sit up to six packs. Once you change the orientation of it, this can definitely cater for more people to sit in. So if you pull out the floor plan itself, right, you will notice that coming in from the main door, your kitchen is actually parked on the right-hand side, followed by the home shelter at the corner. After that, it will be two common bedrooms, living, dining, balcony, and then your master bedroom will be parked on the left corner of the unit. So for this standard three-bedroom floor plan that you see right here, in fact, we have three sizes for it. First would be the 850 square feet unit. The balcony is slightly different. It stretches from the living to either the master bedroom or one of the common bedrooms. The next would be the 797 square feet unit, which is of the same layout as our unit, which is the 786 square feet. As we come in here to the kitchen itself, you will notice that this is all built in originally from the developer. Cooking area is here and of course your sink is on this side. Top storage and bottom storage are all ready and then this is actually the oven right at the bottom. So on the left hand side, it's sort of like a utility area. You can park in your washer and dryer and of course a little bit of storage on top and then you can fit in a single door fridge. Now let's bring you to the first common bedroom, let's go. Before coming to the first common bedroom, we do have some cabinet space right here. This is actually where the DB box is as well as the Wi-Fi setup right there. So as we come into this room, this is actually a loft concept kind of setup. So this is actually a pretty great space because this is catered for clearly a study table kind of setup. They also have built-in wardrobe over on this side. So if you are somebody who works from home, I think this is great. You can put up a whole full office setup right here. For kids, then this is also a great space for them to study. And then on the loft itself, then you can fit in either a single bed or a queen size bed. Next, we're going to bring you to the second common bedroom. So let me 
bring you now into the second common bedroom. Based on the size, you can definitely fit in a single bed. So right now, the tenant, they have actually put in the bike rack. So even with a bike rack here with two bicycles here, you can still fit in a bed. In fact, if you've got kids, you can also put in a double-decker bed. Adding on to the bedroom, we do have this two-panel built-in wardrobe, which is originally from the developer. So before we move on further, let's talk a little bit more on the numbers. compare the pricing for the three bedder units around Tanah Merah MRT station. So first we have Optima at Tanah Merah, TOP in 2012, asking between $1.5 to $1.98 million. Per square feet is 1,004 to 2,100 PSF. Next we have the Gates, TOP at 2017. The asking is between 1,005 to 1,700 PSF. Grandeur Park Residences, which is the newest in the block right here, TOP in 2021. Asking price between one. 1.5 to close to 1.6 mil. PSF is between 1,007 to 1,800 PSF. And for our unit right here, a 3 meter unit, size at 786 square feet, asking at $1.18 million. And per square feet, it's only at 1,500 PSF. If we look at the new launch in this area, of course, we have Seneca Residences, which is just right beside Urban Vista. That is targeted to TOP in 2027. The asking price starting from is at 1,700 PSF. Comparing that to our unit right here in Urban Vista, we do see a huge disparity difference not just in terms of the PSF but also in the overall quantum already. So whether you're an investor or even for own use, this is actually a good entry point to go into for a 3 bedder unit. In fact, our unit is actually currently tenanted and the rental yield is at 3%. So before entering into the master bedroom, this is actually the common bathroom that serves the two common bedroom. It's pretty standard in terms of the layout with the standing shower, the WC as well as the sink right here. It also comes with a built-in mirror that has the cabinetry space right behind it. So here we have the master bedroom and this can fit up to a queen size bed. We also have a TV point right over here. So what this means is also that you can put up a TV over on this side. In terms of the bed orientation, you can put it straight this way facing towards the TV. That will then give you more room space to move about in this area right in front of your built-in wardrobe. Flooring wise, we've got parquet right here which is similar to one of the common bedroom setup. In terms of window, we do like this very much because it feels almost like a full height. So a lot of daylight coming in and right behind would be of course the ensuite bathroom. So we got a pretty good size master ensuite bathroom right here. We also have a ventilation right at the corner which is great because you can then open up to sort of ventilate the bathroom. Standing shower, WC and sink right behind me with drawers at the bottom for storage purpose. Now let's check out the last place of the house which is the balcony. So we've got a really great balcony space right here and what we also like is that they have power point and also water point set up already. So this is actually great because you can do your washing and even do some of your gardening in the balcony itself. So as we look over on this side, earlier on we are talking about Tanamera MRT station and of course the interchange. So what's happening is actually the government pumping in approximately $325 million into this Tanamera project right here. They'll be adding on new platform via ducts. So what this means for commuters who are travelling between Tanamera Expo and Changi Airport, you'll be expecting shorter travelling time. Adding on to the rejuvenation, the authorities are also looking to convert part of the space under the viaduct into like a green corridor kind of setup for cycling and walking purpose. So what it means for residents in this area will be an extra space right there for a family to enjoy. So another exciting that's coming up, of course, is the Thompson East Coast Line. What's happening is that there will be an extension from Sungai Bedok all the way to Changi Airport and leading towards Tanamera. So again, this is an additional line for commuters right here living in Tanamera itself. to the end of today's home tour, compact 3 meter unit right here in Urban Vista, standing at 786 square feet, asking price at $1.18 million. And we are just within two minutes walk, sheltered all the way to Tanamera MRT station. 
So if there's something that you're looking for right here in District 16, do give our listing managers a call. Remember to click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. I'm Patricia, Property Lim Brothers, always happy to show you the place. So if you're some, if you are some if so if you are someone. So I think before we show you more on the place, we just want to bring you and show you. Sorry, wait, what what I don't Wait uh. <clears throat> Next we have Wang Zila. <laughs> Six square feet, which is the which is what uh? Which is the okay, okay, okay. 